All right, I'm laying on my garage floor <laughs> so we can see inside here. Yes, the cat uses it. Yes, the cat likes it. It's a 70 degree day here and the cat's still chilling inside. I've got the thermostat down to, uh, to I think 60. No, I'm looking at it right now. It still says about 65, 68, something like that. Uh, anyway, um, yes, the cat uses it. Cat likes it. I had to split the uh, curtain here into six pieces instead of the three. And I had to trim a little bit more off the bottom so that it doesn't drag right here. But the cat uses it. This is a kitten. It wandered up uh, back in July, and it was super tiny back then, a little malnourished. Um, and it, it uh, wandered up on the wood pile around back of our house, so we named it Woody because it, st st it stayed at the wood pile and used it for its home for, I guess, a couple weeks or so. Uh, before venturing out off of the wood pile. Anyway, it's a stray cat that if you bite me, I'll bite back. You better stop. Stray cat that wandered up, um, started feeding it, and now it sleeps in our garage and my daughter loves it. So that's the story behind Woody here. He's just a kitten, as you can tell. Stop it. I'm not a huge cat person, but I can't be mean to animals. This little dude was starving when we got him. Well, when he wandered up, I should say. And let's see, what, what was I talking about here? Uh, what else to talk about with a cat house follow-up? Oh, the heating element, 150 watts. That's just a bit too much. Um, I didn't have a understanding, an understanding of how much heat a 150 watt heating element would produce. So I have since ordered a 25 watt and I'll replace it. But before putting the cat in here, um, I put the door on and cranked up the thermostat all the way. So this thing would run as hot as it would possibly be and just let it run for, I don't know how much it was, about a half hour. And what that did is it melt, melted some of the styrofoam on top. I don't know if you can see that up there. Melted some of the styrofoam. So I, I just let it do what it was gonna do. Run it as hot as I could possibly get it and see what it was going to do. It melted a little styrofoam and after that I took the door off, put a fan on it, aired it out for quite a while so he didn't have to smell any of those fumes. And um, that night he still didn't have much to do with it that first night. He used it eventually but was unsure of it. By day two he was using it regularly and after that day three and on it's like every time you turn around he's just chilling and lounging in here. He likes it. Anyway, that's the cat house follow-up. Need a smaller wattage bulb for heat. Oh, one of the reasons I didn't go with a heating pad, a lot of people suggested it like a reptile pad, is my wife had worked at the Mississippi State University Animal Hospital for seven years or so, and they would not allow any pads of any kind that had electricity in them into cat enclosures uh, because the cats would tear them up and destroy them. Uh, so that's why I went with a bulb instead of a uh, pad. And everything seems to be fine. He's not messing with it. No, it's not burning the cat. It's way up there. It's set pretty low. It's not too hot. The thermostat's set low anyway. Um, I think that's all I need to say. I'm going to paint this thing in the next little while once the temperature, or once the rain is out of the forecast, I should say. And I'll probably go with a two-tone paint, like paint the box one color and then leave the cedar legs exposed and just oil them. I'll probably do that. Black. Ouch. Hey now. It's all fun and games till someone gets punched in the face, and I don't want to get punched in the face today. That's not the saying. What is the saying? Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. That's a Mike Tyson quote. Well, everyone has a plan until they take a cat claw to the face. Hey, buddy. Ow, ow, ow. I gotta get to work. See you later, okay, buddy? Uh -oh. <laughs> Back to the flush trim router bit video and article. I said in the article and the video that I'll do a giveaway, and I'm going to do three giveaways really quick. Uh, all you have to do is just leave a comment. 
And I said I was going to draw the draw the winners in the next couple days, or actually it says right here, a few days. Well, it's been quite a few days, and the reason being is I was trying to draw out some spam. Anytime you say giveaway or prize or you won or something like that in a YouTube video, the spam accounts start to come out. So here's what we're talking about. This is a spam comment. So I had about 20 or so people say, hey, that's cool that you picked me that I won. Uh, how do I get in touch with you? Well, it, I, I didn't pick you. I didn't pick anybody yet. This is an impersonation. So what they do is they steal the icon or whoever's profile picture. And then they, this is the name of the account. Contact me on Telegram at Jay Bates. This is not me. And there's dozens of different names right here. So it's many, many accounts that'll try and trick people into doing something. Now, I don't know what they want you to do because I've never followed through with any of this stuff. But just know that if you see a comment like this and the name, this is the name right here. The name has to match the name on the, the person who published the video, which is me. This is not me. This is a scam account. This is... This is uh, somebody trying to get you to do something. So don't fall for this stuff. I left the video up. Actually, the video is up. It's not coming down. I, I, I didn't draw the names for, for a while to try and draw out as many of these as I could. Um, so I had about 20 people or so say, hey, I won. No, you didn't. I apologize. This is somebody's scamming people. Anyway, go back to the website article and I said, just leave a comment and you're entered the win. Well, I had 216 comments. So I will go to random.org and have a max value of 216 and I'll press generate. The first winner is comment, I gotta write this down, 138. The second winner is comment 72. And winner number three is comment number five. That'll be an easy one to find. And here are the three winners. Christopher Lake, you are winner number one at comment number 138. Alan Byers. You are winner number two at comment number 72. And Kent, you are winner three at comment number five. By the time this video publishes, I've already reached out to all of you. So thank you to everyone who participated. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.